Hey, Harry Potter fans, Peter Kenneth here. Welcome to the Potter Collector Channel, where we are a community of collectors. Today, we are opening up the newest high security vault or the quarterly special edition box from the Wizarding Trunk, which has a theme all around our favorite witches and wizards. This, I think, is going to be a very fun theme. If you are unaware, the Wizarding Trunk has two subscription box options. They have the High Security Vault, which is a quarterly special edition box, and they also have a bi-monthly subscription box, which is called the Owlry Box. And then they also do some other things. Sometimes they do advent calendars. I partner with them on the Keep Collecting Box. The Keep Collecting Box is powered by the Wizarding Trunk. So we've done two boxes. There's another box on the way. Obliviate! So I've done two Keep Collecting boxes with them in the past, and we'll see what happens in the future. And speaking of the Keep Collecting box, the second Keep Collecting box, Staying at School for the Holidays, has been restocked in a limited supply. What we had to do is wait for all the boxes that were ordered to be delivered. Sometimes international takes a little longer to make sure that things weren't broken or lost. So what we did was we held on to a few boxes in case something were to happen. Those boxes have now been released. So if you're interested in purchasing one, check the description down below for a link. Again, we just have a limited supply, so once they are gone, Gone, they are gone. Let's take a look at the box here. So the box is themed all around a high security vault. I love those dragons on the side. On this side it says quarterly special edition fragile magical or fragile delivery. All right let's open up the favorite witches and wizards box. Dun, dun, dun. All right we have the spoiler sheet here so let's put this... Oh fun! Oh look at this! We've got a toad! So this is going to represent Neville Longbottom. It's got to, right? Who else would have a toad? Unless this is a chocolate frog, but I think it's green. I'm color deficient, so sometimes browns and greens give me trouble. It's not supposed to be a chocolate frog, because if it was a chocolate frog, I would say, oh, maybe it's Professor Lupin, but that wouldn't really make sense, because he offers Harry chocolate bars, not chocolate frogs. But this little toad here, I think is gonna represent Neville Longbottom. Very cute, plush toad. It is Wizarding Trunk branded, which is very cool. There's a little cute little toad right there. He's got some bumps and warts, a very well stuffed toad, which represents Neville Longbottom. I'm glad that Neville found you, Trevor. All right, what do we have next? We've got a pin. Oh, here's the Lupin item. Okay, so we have the next portrait pin in the collection from the Wizarding Trunk. The Wizarding Trunk has been doing a portrait pin line, which is awesome. The next portrait pin from the Wizarding Trunk is Mr. Remus Lupin. There he is with a giant full moon behind him, and I love this thick silver frame. And it's on the smaller size too, which is really cool. So the Wizarding Trunk has been putting out a lot of larger portrait pins, and it's cool to have a variation in sizes, especially because, you know, when you look at the portraits on the walls in Hogwarts, they're all different sizes, big, small, medium. If you were to create like a portrait pin board with the Wizarding Trunk's portrait pins, various sizes would make it feel more Hogwarts and realistic. Love that silver frame. And then of course, the clear coating that goes over the portrait itself. Self. Very nice addition to the pin collection. Oh, we have a shirt. We've got a shirt and it's wrapped up in plastic. What does it say? Beautiful place to be with friends. Oh, this represents Dobby. So it's a picture of Shell Cottage with that quote by Dobby. A beautiful place to be with friends. That's a very sweet shirt. Nice artwork, you know exactly what it is when you see it, and you especially put two and two together when you read the quote itself. Let's magically change into this shirt. Ta-da! I feel like this shirt is super stretchy. Like it's really stretchy. Stretchier than maybe any shirt that I've ever had, which is great. There's nothing wrong with a stretchy shirt. Here is the shirt on with that artwork there. I like the placement of the artwork. I think it's really well placed. And this would be a great addition to your Wizarding World of Harry Potter shirt collection or just your daily magical shirt collection. But I usually wear magical shirts at Wizarding World of Harry Potter and this is one that would be really cool to wear. The artwork feels very smooth too. I can't get over the stretchiness of this thing. It's like stretching your skin where it just snaps back in place. All right, we have, oh. This is gonna represent Luna. Little shoes, little tennis shoes, or Converse shoes. These aren't really tennis shoes. And I think they're just little shoes. 
Oh, maybe they're, no, they don't have an additional string or anything. Cause I was thinking maybe they were those shoes that you put on your rear view mirror, but they're just shoes to display. They do have a left and a right. They're not just two identical shoes. You can see the shoe sole there, which is fun. So that's a nice little detail that was not overlooked or they could have just made, you know, the exact same shoe, but they made a left and a right. So a pair of shoes. I don't know what you would use these for, except for just to display on top of your magical shelves. They are cute and we've got some dirigible plums on there. They look more like strawberries, but I think they're dirigible plums. These shoes represent the quirky Ravenclaw. <coughs> the quirky Ravenclaw, Luna Lovegood. Okay, what is this? This is cool and well-made too. Holy moly cannoli. Oh, there's something inside too. There's. <laughs> <laughs> that is hysterical. I mean, I wouldn't say this is a, a witch or wizard that we love, but this is, so this represents Rita Skeeter, who is caught in her beetle form by none other than Hermione Granger. The fact that Rita Skeeter is in Hermione Granger's bag is hysterical. That is so funny. Now she catches Rita Skeeter in a jar that is bewitched to not break if Rita Skeeter were to transform back into her human self. But this is really, really well done. And this is really, really well done. But the fact that they put this inside the bag is just hysterical. So, all right, let's look at the beetle first. It's on a leaf, nicely painted, nicely sculpted. We see red glasses over the eyes. Really cute, just a cute little statue that represents Rita Skeeter. And then the bag itself is this really nice velvet material on the outside and the inside. So we don't just have a cheaper material on the inside. This is also Wizarding Trunk branded. That's very cool. And it is a cinch bag with a tassel on the end so you can use it and store your magical items or use this as a purse if you wanted to. The tassel is very fun on the bottom. This is a really cool take on Hermione's magical bag. I love the fact that they put this inside the bag itself. All right, we have a patch that says champion and it is in Hufflepuff colors. The only person I can think of is Mr. Cedric Diggory, the Triwizard Tournament champion. A really nice patch that you can use. You can iron onto a bag or a shirt wherever you would like to iron it. And it's really well made, really clear. Love the font that was used for the word champion. Just a great looking patch. This is, it's a straw, which means there's like a cup or something. It's a reusable plastic straw. Uh, it's probably in here. I would guess it's in here. 12 ounces. Oh, okay. So this is a stag on this frosted glass tumbler. A stag is Harry Potter's Patronus. Now the thing I like about this is the frosted glass. It makes it feel like Patronus smoke kind of swirling around. And then we have Harry's Patronus in the center, the stag. Patronus, which would also represent James Potter who had a stag Patronus, but this I'm pretty sure is supposed to represent Harry Potter. I like that it's glass. A lot of times you see these small tumblers and they're plastic, but this one is glass. And if you didn't use it as a tumbler, you could put a little tea light in the bottom here and use it as a candle holder. And then it would backlight the Patronus. But if you wanted to use it as a cup, there is a reusable plastic straw as well as this bamboo wood top. And then there's a silicone ring around here to seal it shut. Very cool. All right, what do we have here? We've got this brown box here. What's inside? It's very heavy, so it might be a potion. It is a potion. <gasps> it's a very colorful potion. Ooh, oh, what? Uh, oh my gosh. Yes, yes, yes. This is a Wittershins potion. So Wittershins is the Wizarding Trunks made up joke shop. And this represents Fred and George. It is a portable swamp. This is something that we learn about in Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix, a joke item that Fred and George created. And this thing is not only funny, but beautifully done. Amazing bottle. This is thick glass. Look at that, that is solid glass on the bottom. Look at that gorgeous, gorgeous label. We've got the Wittershins charm on the top, the green wax sealing the bottle shut. Love the twine color. And then when you shake it up, look at all that sparkle and swirl and the swamp plants that are on the inside. This is a really, really well-made potion. Love everything about this. And I really like how the top is kind of offset and not centered in the middle. Just everything about this. This is really, really nice. I can't believe how thick and heavy this is. This has to weigh like a pound. Amazing. All right, we have one box left and then we have one. Ooh, that's beautiful. 
Uh, two and okay, so we got another. Uh, oh, we got some more stuff. There's lots of stuff under here. We've got prints. Let's look at the prints. We'll save the box for later. All right. So the first item we have English toffee recipe. English toffee. Hmm. Who would this represent? So it's a recipe that is for English. Oh, duh. From the kitchen of. M.W. Molly Weasley. So this is going to represent Molly Weasley or Mrs. Weasley or Ron's mother. So I will hold this recipe up here. You can pause the screen if you'd like to try it. Just take a couple screenshots. And if you do try it, let me know how it is. And if I try it, I will let you know how it is. Looks like some good ingredients. Five minute prep time, 30 minute cook time from the kitchen of Molly Weasley. All right, we have another Enchanter magazine. These things are just badonkers. So they're in collaboration with Danny at Wizardry Workshop and the Wizarding Trunk, and I believe some other people. They are so beautifully produced. I've said it in the past, if the Wizarding Trunk came out with a subscription of just these, people would subscribe to them. And beautiful too. Check out that orange foiling on the front. So the Bat Squatch, a sighting frenzy in Liverpool, page eight. Flying saucers, a magical explanation. Wow, there's so much color. Like, you flip the page, and then bam, you're hit with just color and overload of your senses. So I will put a picture of each page. If you'd like to read through this, you can pause the screen. I always love seeing the advertisements. The table of contents is always so well done. Oh yeah, there are games, like actual, these are actual games that you can play. There are actual articles you can read. It's not just a bunch of scribbles to fill in space. Every single part of these pages is loaded with something for you to do, to read, to explore, to experience. So, so cool. So Toad in the Hole recipe, <laughs> like a real recipe to make Toad in the Hole. Here are those uh, front cover articles and an advertisement at the bottom for Spy Specters, which the Wizarding Trunk actually released uh, in one of their boxes. The Bat Squatch, I was walking my wampus cat when I saw this massive winged creature soaring overhead. I'm certain it was a Bat Squatch. Sas the idea of Sasquatch scares me for some reason, so the idea of like a Bat Sasquatch, don't even want to think about it. There are horoscopes in here. Lucky runes. Featured crystal. And then of course the classifieds. Let's see if uh, the ghost, for, yes, the ghost for hire is here. Poltergeist seeking work can keep eyes out for mysterious creatures for days, never sleeps. We love that ghost for hire here on the Potter Collector channel. And then the credits. And then the back, which I always like to point out, it, it looks like a subscription to a magazine. So you would cut these out and send them in and be subscribed to a magazine. These things are just so well designed and, and well written. We have the last two prints, the Wraith and the White Stag. So the White Stag, we know that a stag is Harry's Patronus. So that is one of the magical creatures here on page... 45. And then on page 46, we have the Wraith. So another page to add to your creature page book if you are still collecting these. Again, if you would like to read about the White Stag, you can pause the video and take a look. And the same goes for the Wraith on page 46. All right, the last print is this beautiful phoenix. This is really cool. It looks realistic. Like, this is like a realistic art. Piece. Look at that thing. Look at the flames. Look at the beak on that phoenix. Really nice. And this, of course, is going to represent Albus Dumbledore. Love that. So I'm not sure who the enchanter represents. Might just be an additional item. Bat Squatch. Maybe that represents Snape because, you know, he's described as a bat. And I think he's described as tall, too, and Sasquatch is tall. So Snape the Bat Squatch. And then we have one last item in here. I think we're missing Hagrid. The one person. Oh no, Ron. What about Ron? Ron and Hagrid haven't been really represented as favorites, but I mean, there's so many favorites. McGonagall's a favorite. They wouldn't be able to have all of our favorites in one box. So this is going to be either a Ron or a Hagrid item, I would guess. Actually, I'm going to guess it's going to be Ron because we have a Harry and a... Oh, it's Ron. It is indeed Ron. This is awesome. Knight to H3. This is a little resin statue of McGonagall's chess set, giant chess set, featuring a knight, which represents 
run. Very, very fun. This is heavy too. It almost feels like metal. It almost looks like oil rubbed bronze or something, but a really cute statue, really nicely done. Like really nicely done. Well designed, well painted, well sculpted. It's a really cute statue addition to your collection and a great way to represent Ron. I mean, Chess and Ron, they are like a clownfish and a sea anemone. They have a symbiotic relationship. Very cool. Wow, that was a great box. Like, a really, really good box. Again, they can't represent every single favorite character, but the ones that they chose, I think they, they did great. Let's take a look at the cheat sheet and then we'll talk about favorites and least favorites. Wizard Weekly, favorite witches and wizards. Creature page. This creature page tells you all about the white stag and the wraith. This page was written by the Wizarding Trunk and designed by Wizardry Workshop. The Knight. This piece played a vital role in the largest game of chess played this century. Phoenix print. Whether you're a fan of the Phoenix or its owner, we are sure you will love this print. English toffee recipe card. A recipe right out of our favorite Wizarding Mother's Kitchen. Perfect for filling Easter eggs with. Recipe by the Wizarding Trunk and designed by Wizardry Workshop. The Portable Swamp Potion. Be sure to keep the stopper in this bottle at all times. Once opened, a full swamp will emerge that is quite difficult to contain or remove. Bottled by Pure Blood Apothecary and designed by Wizardry Workshop. The Enchanter. Your next quarterly edition of The Enchanter has arrived. This edition was written by a talented team of witches and wizards and designed by Wizardry Workshop. Miniature sneakers. These sneakers have been shrunken to make finding them even more difficult for the owner. The design on the sneakers was made for us by Here Be Monsters. Number eight, Toad. Oh great, you found him. If you could please return this toad to its owner, that would be amazing. I have heard he has been looking for him all over. Portrait Pin. The next in the series of Portrait Pins is one of our favorite wizards. Number 10, Champion Badge. The badge worn by the real champion or the spare. Whichever way you choose to look at it. Designed for us by JP Mistlecrow. Cottage Shirt. What a place to be with friends. Remember one of the most loved characters while wearing this shirt. Designed for us by Wizardry Workshop. Number 12 and 13, The Bag and Captive Beetle. This bag is surprisingly spacious on the inside and seems to contain a rather nosy and quite vile beetle. We recommend trapping this beetle inside a jar the first chance you get. The Protector Drinking Glass. This glass depicts one of our favorite protectors. Drink from it or place an electric tea light inside to illuminate the protector. This glass was designed for us by JP Mistlecrow. And then we have some fun little advertisements on there and the editor's choice for this quarterly box is Wizard of Main Street. You can find Wizard of Main Street on Instagram at Wizard of Main Street. And for your chance to be featured in the Wizarding Trunks Editor's Choice, make sure that you use the hashtag the Wizarding Trunk Editor's Choice in your posts or unboxings. The next quarterly theme will be magical travel. All right, let's take a look at some favorites and least favorites. My favorite is the potion. So well done, and I love that this was done. Like this is an important scene in Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. So to have our own portable swamp is excellent. And just the whole aesthetic of this is stunning. Like fun, it's joke shop worthy. The colors are great. The theme is great. It's perfect. This is the perfect, po and granted it's not a potion, but it's the perfect potion. Now, while these aren't really my favorite items, my favorite thing about them was the pairing of the two. Now, just because they're not my favorite items does not mean that they're not well made or anything. This is really well made and this is really well designed, but the thing that I love about them is the pairing of the two items. I thought that was absolutely brilliant. Least favorites would probably be Luna's shoes. For me, I would have liked to have uh, another use for them personally. And I'm also not the biggest fan of this. I like the, the concept and also the fact that, you know, you could put a candle on the inside, but I've never loved personally these little cups. It's, it's small, it's not something that I would use, but the thing I do like about it is that it is glass and not plastic. What about you guys? What'd you think about this box? Was your favorite witch or wizard featured? Mine was Mr. Albus Dumbledore in this awesome Phoenix artwork. Wait, who did the Phoenix artwork? Oh, it's just a Wizarding Trunk exclusive. But was your favorite witch or wizard featured in this box? Let me know and let the rest of the Potter Collector community know in a comment down below. 
If you would like to subscribe to The Wizarding Trunk, you will find information in the description down below. And a reminder, you will find information in the description below about the second Keep Collecting box and the very limited supply of those boxes that we have left. So if you would like to get your hands on the Pine Wand that I designed, or the Hagrid's Motorbike Snow Globe, or the chess piece ornaments, or all the other fun things that are in that box, again, check the description down below for information while supplies last. If you have any questions about Harry Potter or collecting, feel free to leave a comment down below. You can also join the Potter Collector community on Instagram, at the Potter Collector, on Twitter, at Potter Collector, or on Discord. You will find the official Potter Collector Discord link in the description down below. Now it's time to like, comment, subscribe, and until next time, keep collecting. Thank you so much for watching, and if you're new here, welcome! We cover all things Harry Potter on the Potter Collector channel, like books, merchandise reviews, unboxings, Wizarding World of Harry Potter videos, and more. If you would like to subscribe, you can click right here. You can also check out a previously posted video right around here. If you have any questions about Harry Potter, feel free to leave a comment down below. I am happy to help. But for now, I must go. We'll see you next time. Whoa, where'd he go?